week. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode. So today, got the urge to go catch some slabs. First, we gotta get bait. The only one place to go down here. Fish or hunt. Meet up with my good buddy Jamal. He hooks it up. So if you guys ever need bait around the Sabine, Port Arthur area, this way you need to go. I'll leave his shop link down below, but he hooks it up. He's got everything you need. Shiners, mud metal, shrimp. Look at this, right? This is the spot right here. Where you need to come. But walk in the store now, see if he's there. Boss man! There we go. Now. Boss man, what's up? Man, I went to little by you yesterday, man. Oh yeah? Man. You should be working. I know. You should be working. I went to little by you, man. The wind is blowing shit. Man, still tore him up. Yeah. Still tore him up. I'm ready, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. What's going on, man? Oh, I came to pick some shiners up. I'm gonna go catch some crappie. Crappie? Yes, sir. Ready for it, huh? I'm ready, you know? You know it. I can't stay still. I gotta go do it. Ooh, look at that, boys. You can't tell me there's no better bait out there. The man's got the best bait in the Port Arthur area. You guys need bait, you need to come down here. He will hook you up. And he knows how to catch a few fish, you know. Just a few. Shit. Just a few, right? Don't play, man. <laughs> look at that, boys. Woo wee. There's the more. All right, guys, we got the bait. Now we there gotta go, go man. This is the guy you need to come hang out with. Jamal hooks you up, hooks you up. So let's yeah, get on the road and get fishing. All right guys, so made it onto the river right here. This is what we're looking for, crappie, pretty ones. I've been fishing for about an hour already and I got two, two good keepers. And we're just making our way down here. I launched at the bridge and jigged me up a couple. We'll go back there and try it out, but this is all we're doing, simple minnow and bobber fishing. See if we can't pull together a nice little mess of them. Right now they should be spawning, so they should be up shallow. I mean, up in the dirt. Right now I'm fishing only about two foot. Usually if I throw it in there, give it about five, six seconds. If one doesn't take it, he's not in there. And they should be pretty good size right now. I fished this, oh God. I fished this place a couple times and, oh God. That's not what you want to do. I fished this place a couple times and there's always a ton of crappie in here. So, hopefully, you stick a couple big ones. This is the best rig to do it with. Instead of that, you know, a split way right there, just use a jig head because, see here, you gotta make a couple accurate casts. But we got a couple good ones in the box. Hopefully, we stick a couple pigs. I mean, I wanna catch about a 15 inch crappie. That's my goal for today, is a 15 inch crappy Here we go oh that's a good one. Oh yeah Woo. here we go guys i think we got a first decent one in here let's see oh nope nine inches he did get it that's a good one that's a pretty one they got to be 10 inches to keep here in Texas and you got it. I think they got to be you get 25. So shoot a whole mess of 25. That's a lot cleaning. I'm kind of hoping I get 25. It was right by that little tree right there. So look at all the mullet guys. Those are mullet right there. They're just skimming the top of the water. <sighs> Something about Texas. You got all kinds of fish running around. Love it. Love it. Ha ha. Got him. Oh, it looked like a good one. Up and in, boy. Now, it's about a six incher. But, I have found a school of crappie back here. Let's see. Eight. About eight inches right there. Beautiful little crispies. Oh, 
shoot. Oh, did you guys see that? I was looking at my middle just making sure he's alive and I saw this little bass come up and smoke him. <laughs> Golly. Just came up and smoked this little shiner. I hope I got that. That was pretty awesome. Little bass. Pretty little guy. Very nice guy. There he is, guys. Oh, that's a good one. There. Oh, get in the boat. <laughs> yes, sir. That was a very nice crappie right there. What the heck? That darn bass, man. I was gonna go, <laughs> had my thing sitting right here at the side of the boat and he smoked it. God dog it. I was trying to make this a little deeper. <laughs> little darn bass running around. Oh my god guys, did you see that? That little sucker came up and just blew it up right at my feet right here. And I mean he got it. Golly. These bass are aggressive in this little this little river. Oh yeah. Slab, baby, slabs. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. Look at that, boys. Beautiful crappie right there. Love it. Got them. Guys, look at that. They are in there. That's a little one. A little black crappie. So pretty, though. Man, a little popping cork, a little plastic underneath it, guys. That's how you do it. Crappie have a distinctive bite. When you see that, that cork kind of, oh shoot. Guys, look at that. This one was just, oh, I got two. I got the, oh, I had two. Guys, it was just sitting in the water. They sure like this, uh, the shad one. They don't really like the, uh, the other one I got on there, I might have switched that one out. I had two right there. Around this pile. He's a little small. I'm going to let him go. Alright boys, back in the truck. Kind of break down what we did today. We're not done yet. We're going to head to the house and cook up some of these nice slabs. But basically what we did was, these crappie are spawning right now. So they're up in any kind of shallow cover you can get. If you guys saw, I was pitching in bushes. Literally, they're in bushes. Sometimes they're around the bush, but mainly if you if you want to make sure there's not one or a school in it, throw in the bush. But all I was using was a TTF glow shad. I'll leave them linked down below. I think you can pick them up at Walmart. Eight pound test and a cork. And then just tipping it with a minnow. Awesome. I didn't even use a minnow sometimes. You just throw it in there. When you're getting fired up, you can just Keep tossing them in there and bang 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 it seems like though once you bust them up catch a couple they they kind of shut down so you just move on to the next bush but i think we ended up with 15 or 20 crappie it's not bad i kind of wish they were all giant slabs but i mean you can't you can't beggars can't be choosers but we're gonna head to the house here and cook them up tacos baby fish tacos let's go all right guys back at the house here we're gonna cook up these crappie. I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's gonna be real simple. We're making fish tacos, tempura style. It's the best fish taco you'll ever eat, so stay tuned. It's real simple. Let's go. So the first thing we need to do is make the pico. These are the greens you're gonna need. 
two things, two cloves of cilantro, four lemons. Depending on how strong and how much you like onion in your pico de gallo, I use about half. Half an onion is pretty good for about me. Next, we're gonna dice this up. There we go. And if you guys need the recipe, I'll leave the link down below. The way I like my garlic is chopped up really fine because no one really wants to take a big bite of onion in their pico de gallo. You want to just be real smooth. Yeah, we're going to throw this in a big bowl. Next, the tomato. Same thing, dice it up real thin, put it in the bowl. Boom. Okay, next, the garlic. Well, actually, let's do the cilantro. Cilantro makes everything better. The more cilantro, the better. So we're gonna cut it, dice it up. Ready? And there we go. Throw it in the bowl. Okay, now the last thing we need to chop up is the garlic. Here's a cool little trick for the garlic. Instead of individually peeling each and every clove, you take the main skin off. My girlfriend showed me this. Take the main skin off, break off as many cloves as you want. In our case, I'll probably use about half, half a clove of garlic. So that should be enough. Instead of sitting here and peeling them, you take them, and you smush them, and the skin comes right off. Pretty cool little deal. Next is the lemons. Just slice them in half, squeeze. Careful to get, not get the seeds in there. No one wants seeds in their pico de gallo. And there you go guys, you got your pico de gallo. Right there. Really good recipe. Okay, we're done with that. Now time for our sauce. So for this step, you're gonna need a little blender. If you have like a magic bullet, even better. If you have a magic bullet here, for this one, you're gonna need ground cumin, cilantro, and jalapenos. First, we're gonna take the cumin, or not the cumin, the uh, cilantro. I like to throw about two, two stacks in, cut the stems off, throw it in there. Next, we get our mayo. There's no really exact science to it, just a big kitchen spoon. Just glob it in there. Next, the cumin. Still, no exact science, just Next is the most dangerous part, the jalapenos. I suggest you wear gloves when you're doing this. Trust me. I don't have gloves that really fit me right now, but these will work. So take your jalapeno, chop the head off, split it in half. Depending on how spicy you like your food, you can either leave the seeds or take them out. My family doesn't really like spicy, so we cut them out. Okay, next. Take this concoction, blend it up. All right, so now we have our sauce. Put that to the side and we'll get the fish ready. All right, so for the fish recipe, you're gonna need flour, crackers, or already smashed up crackers, and eggs. For crackers, Take your magic bullet, kind of mush them up a little bit so they fit in there. And 
to blend that sucker up. It'll make it into a real fine uh, powder instead of a big crunkly mess like this. That's how it should look like, guys. Real fine, you see? Real powdery. And depending on how, many, how much fish you got, you can always do another sleeve. We have a lot of fish, so I'm gonna do two sleeves. Take a bunch of eggs. And just crack them in there. Then beat the eggs. All right, so we have our crappie fillets right here. Look at that, guys! Big old mess of them. We're gonna throw them in. It's the best, though. The best way I learned how to do it is you get a big old Ziploc bag, throw it in, them. throw it, a bunch of flour in it. And throw these in there so you get it all done at once you don't have to individually flour each one then i'll show you guys how to do this 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 thing makes a little bit of a mess if you don't wear gloves so i'll show you how to get that done okay you close it up and shake it up make sure all those fish are evenly coated all right so we got our fish here all powdered up real pretty so you're gonna need this bowl egg wash this is the last one, is the cracker mix. You're gonna need one more for your finished product right here. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. This is the process that you go through to make this. So you take, this is why I'm wearing gloves, I'll show you why. You take the flour, roll it in the egg wash, toss it in the tempura, cover it up. And that should be your final product right there. Just crispy little golden nugget. Make sure it's all covered up, toss it in. And we do this, just repeat it until we finish the bowl right here. All right guys, so to fry this up, all you need is some Crisco pure vegetable oil, fresh fish, and a big old pan. All right guys, so when you're frying these fish right here, you want this oil to be hot. I mean, you can't even put your hand over it hot. As soon as you drop that fish in there, you want to start frying. And this doesn't take long to cook. As long as it starts floating, it's when it's ready. So let's fry them up and we'll be done. We got the pico and the sauce all made. This right here is what makes it. This jalapeno sauce, it's called a love potion. We got the pico already, tortillas. It's real simple, so let's get these fish fried real quick. So here's our finished product right here. You have fish, pico de gallo, love potion. This is how we make these world famous tacos. Tortilla, slap it down. A little bit of pico. Nice chunk of fish. And boom. No love potion right there. Look at that. Probably the best taco I've ever had. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you try this recipe and you like it. Let me know if I should do more of these, but God dog, I'm hungry, so let's get into it. I'll see you guys later. Peace.